micro lamps, lamps went idle. idle. Just, Just enough, enough to keep the circuit, circuit ready, but, but not, not enough, enough to fully to turn it on. on. But once, once the, the input, input signal, signal say from a microphone or audio source, source arrives, the transistor is activated. It allows more current to flow from collector to emitter, thereby amplifying the audio signal. This is how small sound signals become loud enough to drive speakers. Here's another cool feature of transistors, voltage following. In this setup, the transistor behaves like a buffer that mirrors the input base voltage at the emitter output, with only a small voltage drop, like 0.7 volts. Why this voltage drop? Because the base emitter junction behaves like a diode, and it requires the emitter voltage to be lower than the base for current to flow. For example, if you apply, say, 5 volts to the base, the output at the emitter will be the base voltage minus 0.7 volts, around 4.3 volts. Even if the collector emitter voltage is 12 volts, the emitter output still locks at 4.3 volts. This resistor here? It's called a negative feedback resistor, 